this episode. Oh, I shout at some trucks. Sam reveals the cameraman's secret identity. It's both cut the camera and cut the And a steam train rolls down Main Street. G'day, welcome back to Season 2, Episode 4 of Down the Line. Uh, today we're already actually chasing the train we're wanting to find. Um, it's the Cruise Express Southern Steam Spectacular. The first part of this video, or this series actually, um, is going to be chasing R711 and R761 through to Ballarat. Hope you enjoy. Okay, we've just seen them stopped at Manor Junction. Um, they're waiting there for operational requirements. So we're gonna beat it to Little River and get them there. So we just saw at the distance that a Velocity um, is just coming into Little River and that will be what the two hours are going to be waiting for. We're going to uh, go over to Little River Station and get set up ready for them. They're due through just before 8 o'clock. Oh, there's Sam. Troublemaker trusted to be here. I got it at Paisley. Oh, you did get it at Paisley, okay. Man, we are so lucky to get it. Where's the traffic there? East Link was to a crawl. Alright, so we're at Little River now. Um, we made it with probably about, oh, I'm just getting on to five minutes to spare. I can hear a velocity behind me. We got a pretty decent shot, except for the uh, set for the light being right in front of me, as you can see from the view of the camera. Uh, I've also found a really dodgy looking character here, um, in the form of Sam. <laughs> and yeah, this should be a good first shot. Oh, is that coming from that way? No, it's it. Oh, okay. It's an up velocity. That was great. All right, next stop, hopefully Moorable.
One thing I realised um, when we were on our way to go to Little River, I realised that it's the first mainline steam tour that I've seen since the Bonneville West Coaster on October the 12th, 2019. That was the same day as the Climax trip, which I'm sorry I haven't uploaded it yet, but yeah, it's, it's taken me two years to upload a single video. Well done, mate. But yeah. You can cut now. Cameraman, uh, by the way, just make sure you uh, edit that last bit out. So we just need to do an emergency petrol stop. Uh, we realised we didn't actually have enough fuel to get to where we were going today. Right, back on the road again. Hopefully it stops at Seabox long enough for us to get around it. Alright, so we're at Lovely Banks now. Um, we're... <laughs> This is Tony Varsden from um, Steam Media Productions, the man behind the Victorian Year in Steam videos. And I'm photo bombing Lucas. Yes, yes, he's very, very good at that. Uh, Never um, done it before. Well, it's true. Well, you, you, you just did it that. Yeah, okay, good. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're, we're waiting for the locos to come up the hill here. I'm not sure how steep the gradient here, but it, it is quite a grade coming out of, um, coming out of Anarchy, coming up the grade um, through here. Warmer than New South. Yeah. For context, I was up in New South Wales over the weekend prior to this. Didn't get above 10 degrees. Felt like minus seven when the wind was blowing. And it's still cold down here. <sighs> Welcome to Australia. In winter, oh sorry, autumn. That was awesome. Um, we're now going to head to Lethbridge. That's an awesome whistle. <laughs> There's a reason why I like R711. That's why my channel name is that.
Prescott Rural and we're going towards our next location now. I might give you a tiny bit of history about the uh, R classes. So back in the late 1940s, early 50s, the A2 class 460s, insert photo here, were pretty much becoming life expired. They'd been used since 1915 and it was now 1950. The Victorian Railways definitely needed a uh, replacement. Uh, we're just going to be interrupted for a second because the um, train's over there behind them. after we were not rudely interrupted but we were interrupted the Victorian Railways were looking for a replacement for the A2s and they went to the North British Locomotive Company in Glasgow, Scotland to order well it was initially 50 R classes but then just before the order arrived they bumped it up to 70 these locos were 464 Hudson types they arrived between 1951 and 1953 the locomotive on the front, R711, was arrived in 1951. It was one of the first batch that arrived in, uh, I think it was like June or November 1951. I can't remember which one it was. The second engine, R761, was one of the last batch in 1953. They were both used on express passenger trains, but about 12 months after they arrived, their replacement already arrived, which had been ordered about three years prior. These were the B classes. Because of this, lines like the Trelgan line had R classes replaced by 1956. They continued to be used on passenger and freight duties until about 1964 when the first of them were withdrawn. R755 was the first one to be withdrawn in 1960, but that was due to an accident. Other locomotives have been stored prior to that, but they weren't officially withdrawn until about 1966. R748 and R719 were the two oil burning locos, mainly based out of Ararat. Because of how well it steamed, R748 was actually kept as a prestige loco, a bit like what they used in South Africa. And a number of them were also used on mainline excursions from the early 1960s. Notable locos would be R706 and R742. R707 was placed into excursion service in 1969. R761 replaced R742 in 1970. They were used on excursion services until 1974 when they were both withdrawn within three months of each other due to boiler issues. They were stored at Newport workshops until 1984 when R761 returned to service under the Steam Rail Victoria banner. R707 was restored by a group of South Dynan firemen in 1985. R711 had a different fate however. After being displayed outside the Bendigo Railway Station for about 20 years, it was purchased by West Coast Railway in 1995 for restoration to become a Hyper R. It returned to service in November 1998. Meanwhile, sister engine R766 was also purchased by West Coast Railway and restored in 2001. Following the demise of West Coast Railway in 2004, both R711 and R766 were transferred to different homes. R711 went to steam rail, while R766 was regaged to standing gauge and moved to New South Wales. Today, three R classes are still in traffic. R711 returned to service in 2011 and is now painted in blue and gold livery, very similar to the S class Pacifics. R761 is still in service with Steam Rail Victoria, however is due for an overhaul very soon. R707 is still under the care of 707 operations and is used on very rare excursions but kept in very very good condition. R766 is, is supposed to return to service in 2021. Oh, wicked, come gather round me, come gather round me, come gather round me. Alright, so we're here just north of, uh, north or south of Lethbridge? South, okay. So, we're south of Lethbridge, almost certainly beating it, because it's, um, I think it's like, got a 60k an hour speed limit or something, and we've got 100. So, we uh, easily beat it.
was good. So it was just, it was stopped at Bannockburn for a little while, but now it's back on the road again. So next stop, Meredith. Alright, so the train's a bit behind schedule now. There must have been like a stop at Bannockburn for something. I don't know what it was, but it's on the it's on its way again and um, it might be a knock-on factor for the rest of the day. It might just get later and later and later, but we'll see what happens. We're at Meredith, well just south of Meredith at um, Green Tent Road. It sounds like an award, the Green Tent Award! The train's got a 40k an hour speed limit um, from Meredith to Lethbridge, no, uh, Lethbridge to Meredith, I keep getting mixed up. And we're, yeah, waiting for the train here. That was the most awkward position I've ever done to do a, a filming a video. Having yourself halfway around the camera to get a going away shot. All right, so it's got a, it's going a lot slower than I expected. It's got a speed restriction. But yeah, that looked really nice in the sun. We're just north of Meredith now. The train will be coming out of the 20k an hour speed restriction. So yeah, it'll be coming through Meredith and continuing on to Ballarat. Chasing all the way up? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, we'll see you around then. We're just approaching A Lane. The train is probably just about to go across the crossing, uh, which crosses the main Geelong Ballarat Road. Not sure where we'll get it next. Maybe Lal Lal or um, Navigators. Yeah, we'll see what happens um, in the next couple of minutes. Update. Roadworks! Update. We're not in the roadworks. So we just went through Lao Lao, we're behind it. I saw the rear end of the train, we're just looking out for it over here. I can see smoke in this. We're gonna try and get it at either Yemden or Navigators, more likely Navigators, because of how close we are. The back end of it's just coming up somewhere. Somewhere around here. So there must be someone um, 
trying to pace the locomotives because we're having trouble getting past them. We've got about probably getting on to 15 cars in front of us. We've got three behind us, so it's a um, Gunzel traffic jam. There's Sam over there. <laughs> All right, so we just made it to Yendon. The train obviously went past us. The Mad Nut, or also known as Sam, has obviously gotten a shot here. And yeah, we're gonna keep going north to try and get it at Navigators, hopefully. Trains over there, just went under Navigator's Bridge, so we missed it there. We're gonna try and get it at Warren Ave, hopefully. We're driving up to that now. It's gonna be close there too. And we just went past a um a accident, so it slowed us down a little. Um yeah. Thankfully two two cars slowly okay. stuffed. Yeah, yeah, luckily everyone looks pretty good. So we're at the summit of Warren Heap Bank here. Uh, the train just started rolling down the hill into Ballarat. We've now got about an hour until um, most likely our next spot because they're changing locos here. They're changing from the two R's to two K's, K153 and K190. So we're gonna go to a location north of Ballarat to get one of the first shots of the next part of this big trip to Sea Lake. There are some things um, that I worry about. In fact, there's a lot of things I worry about. But the thing I'm most worried about is him. I like trying. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I'd see a day like this. Four steam locos in Ballarat. How good is this? Nothing can get better than this. Oh, maybe five. Like whack the A2 in there or something. 